and welcome to Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Skyrim is about you becoming a dragonborn, which is a dragon slayer, and you're here to save Skyrim from dragon attacks. The game opens up with you in a carriage with three others, and you're on, on the way to Helgen for your execution. You, you find, find about you find out about you the war that's going the on between I the Stormcloaks and the Imperials the Imperial and the whole rebellion. Us, and if you actually listen to the whole introduction, it's quite and fascinating and interesting. And you learn about the characters the themselves, and they even have like their own personalities, which is really cool. The stolen that horse have been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's these storm cloaks the Empire wants. Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait, we're not rebels. Face your death with some courage, thief. So, when you reach Helgen, it's at this moment when you design your character by race, and then you go on to choosing what you actually look like, you know, with hair and war paint and facial scarring and any facial hair, if you're a guy. So then you escape your execution because there was a dragon attack in Helgen by Alduin. And then you venture up and you fight your way through the either Imperials or Storm Stormcloaks. And then you finally reach your destination, which is a lovely skirt. <laughs> so the look of this game is very medieval times, which builds the whole fantasy about the dragons and other creatures like vampires and werewolves, as well as using magic as a weapon in the game. It, builds, it just comes together really nicely and playful. When you interact with characters in the game, you are given a choice of dialogue. So you have different outcome, outcomes, you can persuade yourself out of situations, or intimidate a character, or just be really rude and upfront. With quests, you either be sent off to collect something, or kill someone in a dungeon, or somewhere in Skyrim. And you'll come across words of power, which are basically dragon shouts, which you can use against your enemies and dragons, or for your behalf, you need to get to one area quicker, or you want to tame a dragon or something. The sound of the game is quite magical. The soundtrack is amazing, I absolutely love it. There will be a moment where in the wilderness there is this light and soft music when you're walking through with the flowers and the butterflies and the little rabbits jumping around and then there'll be another moment when you're a battle and there's this intense music and you're just like, yeah, in the zone, gonna chop up this dude's head <laughs> and stuff. And it goes with the whole medieval visual style as well. So basically the sound and the visuals and all the like like voices of the characters they all like put together in like this one theme and it suits so well besides the main storyline you have guilds which are basically groups that control sky a part of skyrim for example the brotherhood there are a bunch of assassins and this is the intro to becoming a assassin in the brotherhood and there are also other guilds like the Thieves oh, Guild, which is a bunch of thieves, that. obviously. Oh, and Companions, which are a bunch of werewolves, and there's heaps more others. In the game, you'll come across dragons, which you kill, and take their souls. And their souls can be used to unlock new dragon shouts that you have discovered. Skyrim also has a very simple picklocking system, which is a lot better than Oblivion. In Oblivion, it was very complicated and it was just too hard. And this one's a lot more easier and a lot more fun. <laughs> in Skyrim, you'll have some puzzles that unlock doors in the dungeon, so you, then you can move on and continue. 
Skyrim also has awesome leveling up system. So every time you level up, you can either increase your magicka, health, or stamina, and then you use perks to increase the damage of your one-handed weapon or make lockpicking easier for you. Skyrim also has an interactive 3D loading screen, so you can move these 3D models around, and they also have some fun facts about Skyrim, which are pretty interesting if you do read them. You can interact with every character in Skyrim. Most will give you famous one-liners, but some will give you small quests or tasks to do for themselves. So if you play Skyrim on PC, you can download these things called mods, which are basically modifications of the game that other people have created. And they make the fun they make the game more different and more fun. And there's so many mods. Like there's weapon mods, there's creature mods, and there's also a gore mod. And that's all from my end and I hope you enjoyed the video. And I also hope you enjoy this montage. Bye! Yo, Skrill, drop it hard.